Yo, what's going on guys? It is Nate here, and long time no see. Haven't really been uploading many YouTube videos, uh, <laughs> kind of like usual, but um, Black Ops 4 came out today, obviously most of you know, and a lot of you have been bugging me to upload some Call of Duty videos because I've been uploading a lot of Overwatch and Fortnite like montage clips, and I haven't really uh, uploaded like the Call of Duty uh, videos that a lot of you sub to me for. Um, and I don't want to make any promises, okay? <laughs> and I'm not going to say that I'm going to be a regular uploader or anything, but I'm definitely going to be playing way, way, way more Call of Duty. I pretty much only like the Treyarch games. I played Zero Infinite Warfare. I think I'm still level 1 on that game. And World War II, I just really did not like the feel of it. I think it has to do with, um, well, the balance of the game and like just the game engine. It didn't feel really good. So I was, I was pretty excited for Black Ops 4. Um, and I played the beta and I, I didn't really have a great time with it. I thought it was pretty okay, um, but I was going to reserve judgment for the full release of the game. And you can see in the background, um, we have just a normal team deathmatch on jungle, one of the classic Black Ops 1 maps. Um, and so what do I think, just initial impressions, I definitely think it's a good game. It's probably on par with Black Ops 3, which I did really enjoy. I played Black Ops 3 for pretty much three years uh, when I wasn't playing the other developers Call of Duties and I, I had the urge to play a Call of Duty I'd throw in Black Ops 3 and I really enjoyed that I think I'm like Prestige Master 700 or something so I definitely played a lot of that and I'm enjoying Black Ops 4 just about the same there's a few worries that I had from the beta I thought the time to kill was really weird um, you know obviously you have 150 health instead of the normal 100 that I've been used to for like the past 10 years with Call of Duty but it's it's something that I got used to after just a few games. You just keep shooting until you see the score pop up. Um, so that's that's really one of the only things that I was kind of afraid of. And you can see these these score streaks. You'll see later on. <laughs> I think they buff the crap out of them because they absolutely do work in this game, which is awesome. I love it when you do well and you get rewarded with a score streak, and then the score streak actually does something for you. That's something that other Call of Duty games need to learn from. You know, if you get like a, a 15 kill streak in other games, it would like just get shot down and get one kill, and it's like, uh, it's not very satisfying. Um, but what I really want to talk about is, I don't know what it's called, the specialists. I think it's still called specialists in these games. Um, this crash specialist is definitely the best and probably most underrated in the game. Like, it's, it's without a doubt the best, my favorite. I probably won't play another one unless two people pick this in the lobby and I'm locked out. Um, Black Ops 3, I pretty much only played Rune because I didn't really want to pull out any other specialist weapon and, you know, take my time to use it. I didn't want to pull out an Annihilator or anything. That, the same thing with score streaks. I don't like actually using the score streaks. I like just pressing a button and having it do the work for me. So, Rune and Black Ops 3, the gravity spikes. It was really easy because you didn't really have to use the specialist weapon for more than one second, so it kind of fit my playstyle. And this guy fits my playstyle as well. This guy will help good players. If you are a good player, you will love this guy, but he will also help bad players. So it doesn't matter like if you're a rusher, if you're a camper, it doesn't matter what type of player you are, it doesn't matter how good you are. This guy will elevate your game, it'll help you get score streaks, and it'll it'll just help your team stay alive. And you're pretty much going to win every single game if you have two decent crashes. Um, so what I do is, I use, I forget what it's called in this game, but it's pretty much like Hardline. It's in your gear slot, I think it's called Comsec Device, and it like reduces the amount of score you need for a score streak. So that's, that's going to help you obviously get your score streaks faster. Um, but this guy, he has special golden ammo that spawns like every 30 seconds that you could throw down in little packs and every time your teammates grab the pack you get 50 points. Every time you get a kill with the golden ammo, it doesn't do anything for like the stats of your gun, but every time you get a kill with it you get extra points towards your score streaks, so it's you're like stacking Hardline Pro on top of Hardline Pro right there. And then you have a heal device, um, which is like your ultimate ability. And it'll instantly heal all of your teammates that are alive to 200 health. You can see I'm lo running low on ammo here. I'm just going to pop down that pack and just give me like almost infinite golden ammo with like Hardline Pro built in. Uh, so your specialist ability will heal all your teammates up to 200 health. 
and it is just phenomenal. It'll give you a ton of points, and you don't even have to try. It's a guaranteed pretty much 125 points if all your teammates are alive. You don't have to go on a kill streak with your specialist weapon. Um, so you're just going to constantly be getting score streaks. You're constantly be going, going to get random points for not even really doing too much. It's just going to rain in, and you're just going to help your team out uh, by um, helping them stay alive and also they get the hardline pro bonus from the golden ammo as well so they're going to get their score streaks faster you're going to get your score streaks faster and you're just going to decimate the other team it's really really underrated i hardly see anyone use it and i really think that you should try it out um so if you're a really good player it's going to help you go on the really long kill streaks if you're a noob it's going to help you get to like the middle uh, kill streaks much easier it's going to help out your team you're really going to feel like you're making a difference so definitely recommend trying the specialist out and i would definitely recommend black ops 4 if you're on the fence um there's a lot of great things i i really like blackout um the battle royale mode but i don't think you know, you don't have to play it if you don't want to because multiplayer is definitely as big as it was in Black Ops 3. They didn't cut any corners or anything to make room for Blackout. And Zombies launched with a lot of maps, and they are very good. I've only played two of them, um, but I, I had a really good time um, with Zombies, surprisingly, because Black Ops 3 has kind of meh, except for one of them, the Castle one, was pretty dope. And I didn't really play too much Black Ops 3 Zombies. I played a lot of Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Um, but Black Ops 4, I feel like I'm going to be playing a lot of Zombies, a lot of Blackout, and a lot of multiplayer. You know, so it's it's not really going to get boring quick. I think I'm going to be able to, um, you know, if I get bored with multiplayer, play Battle Royale with friends. If I get tired of that, play Zombies. And, you know, I'm having fun with every single one of them. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it usually takes like a month for me to actually get pissed at a Call of Duty. But I I have a really good feeling about this for with the first impressions. I don't think it's the greatest game of all time. I don't think it's the greatest Call of Duty of all time. I don't think uh, it's better than Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 2. Those are my two personal favorites. But I'm going to have a really fun time with this game, I think, this year. And so, yeah, thanks for stopping by. I know I haven't posted in a while, but if you're here, then I really appreciate you. If you're new, uh, you can subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm probably not going to upload, you know, daily Call of Duty stuff, but I, I think I have some moderately okay gameplay, and I sometimes talk over it like a classic Call of Duty comment uh, commentator from years ago. So anyway, um, thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.